Does everybody have a bag of grommets? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not a normal. This is the 12th step in our van build series, Solar. Our solar system in the van was not planned for. Not at all. Not at all. Um, we had originally said we weren't going to do solar. One, because we didn't want the extra height on the top of the van. And two, it wasn't budgeted for. That changed when we saw a really, oh. really good deal on some solar panels. Yeah, a really, yeah, really, really good, good deal. deal. So we've got two 100 watt panels for a total of $120 and that included shipping. We're going to link to this very good deal that we got on solar panels because as of right now in August 2019, it still exists. However, we want to make sure that we give you all a word of caution about using the company that we use. Um, we ordered the two panels, they arrived, um, one was perfectly fine, the second was in completely shattered. So we sent an email to the company um, and we got a very quick response back. Like the very next day we got a response back that said, we'll put one in the mail, throw that one out, no big deal. Fast forward four weeks, we still hadn't received a replacement panel. So I contacted them asking them, you know, hey, do you have an ETA on our panel? I'd spoken to so-and-so, radio silence. I sent in a total four emails to them um, and did not hear back at all. Uh, finally, because we were coming up on our ability to contest it with our credit card company, um, we filed a credit card dispute. The day after I filed the credit card dispute, the second panel, the replacement panel, just Brand was at mission. the post office. The original panel showed up after three days. Yes. I don't know what was going on with this replacement panel, whether it's shipped directly from China. I we don't know. We want to give them the benefit of the doubt. My first and only interaction with their customer service rep was really great. Um, and they were really attentive. But after that, we literally heard nothing. So just take that with a grain of salt. The budget is maybe slightly higher than if you think about going with the Renology panels. They have a slightly beefier frame than these ones do, which makes it a little easier to mount it to the roof. We're getting ready to mount these aluminum brackets onto the side. And I don't want to mount them all the way in the front. For aesthetics, I'm going to mount them about an inch back. And we're going to mount these onto the brackets with these aluminum rivets. So we'll drill a hole here, insert the rivet, and install it. Got a 3 sixteenths drill bit to correspond with my 3 sixteenths rivet. Now I'm using an aluminum rivet to go with the aluminum bracket and the aluminum solar panel. Because if you use like a stainless steel or something like that, you could have galvanic corrosion, whereas where a less noble metal like the aluminum will corrode away and the stainless steel won't. So if you're doing stuff like this, it's best just to stick with the same material. We're going to be hooking up our panels in parallel rather than series because that's going to work a lot better if you have one panel shaded that the other one won't lose, won't die as well. And the voltage is where we need to be with our PWM controller. So these are 18 volt panels. If I had them in, in series, they'd be around 36 volts, which is a little high for our 12 volt batteries. These 18 volt panels connected in parallel are just perfect. doing? I'm just going to mark where the locations are so I can take the panel away and clean underneath. Oh, so you can like alcohol swab it. Alcohol swab it and put down and seal it. Cool. So you're going to seal it and screw it at the same time? Yeah, seal it and run the screws through. So why are you doing this? Just so the um, 
clock a, a clean surface to, to here too. wires coming out of the panels here. I will ins now install our Y connectors which will allow me to hook the two panels in parallel. And these are just the MC4 connectors that come with the solar panels. And they're nice and waterproof. And that's all you have to do? Just click them together. That's cool. No splicing, no nothing. Waterproof, rated for a thousand volts. We have the other part here. It's a clamshell with uh, two waterproof um, cable glands. Yep. And I just have the MC4 to crimp cable, so it's just bare on one end. And the MC4 connectors on the other end. You can see how one is different, so one's for positive and one's for negative. But you can't screw it up. And I want the clamshell mounting back, so any like rain, driving rain, like when we're going forward, won't try to go down the connector. So I think I'll mount it right here, and these guys can just come right over, plug in. So the grommet has got a little slot in it and it just goes around the sheet metal. So this is the solar charge controller we're using. It's a 20 amp PWM unit. I'm really cheap, I think it was like 18 bucks or something like that. But what it does is it takes the power from the panel. So these two wires right here, they're the same colors. I used a little bit of heat train to denote which one's the positive and which one's the negative. And it pulses that on real quickly to connect it to the battery, which is these two wires right here. So I got a 10 gauge, positive and negative wired directly to the battery through a fuse because if you turn off if you wire this through like a battery switch and you inadvertently turned it off you will fry this charge controller so this needs to be connected to the battery and if you need to disconnect the battery anytime you need to disconnect the solar panels if you have any questions leave a comment down below and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button